All right, you could call. We are about to see right here a decision 2020 masterpiece. This dedication to the president's campaign has made it all over social media. It has fans and, of course, haters as well. Well, tonight, News 4's Ryan Breslin went to rural Tennessee to find a message we could all use during these tense political times. Red Boiling Springs can best be described as small. It's a sort of a sleepy town, very, very few problems. We don't have a lot of industry here. Big industry isn't apparent on Highway 52 as you drive through. But now there's a new sight to see. They'll do some stuff with hay, but not that elaborate. That's pretty elaborate. They're colorful, they're vibrant. They're just picture worthy. A lot of people has asked me, are you sure you did not use a stencil? I said, I free handed it. I said, the good Lord must have been with me to make it happen because I'm not an artist. A larger than life tribute to President Trump rolled in hay, a spectacle on Adrian Powell's farm. A lot of support from the locals that I didn't think that was here. I think it's great. I think it's a little overkill, but that's fine. <laughs> he wants to do. <laughs> George McCrary lives next door. While he's impressed by the artwork, it's fair to say he's still feeling blue. And I wanted to say in, in a big way that I was a Biden fan. Now, it seemed to have stirred up the rest of them a little bit. <laughs> so they have, they have countered me uh, with several Trump signs, but that's okay. The friendly competition seeing problems over the weekend as Powell's flags were cut down the middle. He says the teenagers responsible have all apologized. They got to learn that we do have to respect other people's property. But there's still concern of what could come before the end of this election. Everybody says it will go up in a smoke. If it don't, then I'll let the cows eat it. One thing is true, no matter who they support, this small town still has each other's back. We all still get along, we're all still neighbors, and that's the way it should be. <laughs> Ryan Breslin, News 4 Nashville.